Okay, here's the um, 20 by 35 oval speaker and it's been mounted upside down so that it's facing down and we've sealed the four little holes in the corner. You can hear the sound. Okay, so I set this, this decoder up, we've got a um, tsunami, full size um, C-class tsunami there, uh, so we'll have a go now the other side, but before we do any changes we'll just have a listen, I'll just come down to the bottom here, I've got a rotary switch which I can select any of the speakers over here on the box, so we'll switch that around to a 23mm high bass speaker, up the back here. Just listening to the comparisons, switch it back. That's not bad sound being upside down. It's a, a good thing to try. Okay, and now we've just swapped that over, resealed that and run the wires out so we've connected it back up again. sounds pretty much the same whichever way you put it in as long as it was sealed off nice and clear and we'll run her up just using a um, CVP throttle Let's say To, to my hearing, that's better coming out that way, the normal way that you have it. Hmm. An interesting exercise worth trying out, reversing the speaker. And go back and similar size as that 23 over the corner. Just go back through the speaker ranges here. Actually, that was a good sound. Which one's that one? That's the, um, that's this one. That's not too bad. little uh, reflex one here. For C class it's okay. That's the same, they're the same. This one over here doesn't have a enclosure on it. So that's the same 20 by 35 speaker without an enclosure. with the enclosure. We go to the 23. It's deeper, it's more muffled sound. They're a good speaker, very, very good speaker, those ovals. Anyhow, that's a test, proving uh, what the gentleman said about reversing the speaker. 
you still get good sounds and if you like it trust your ears because we've all got different hearing I uh, hope this uh, is of interest to you guys.